Hey guys, it's me Tolha. So I recently came across this sphere shaped cliff edge house uh, on the internet and I thought about making a tutorial on how to create these kind of models in Revit. So here it is. In this video we will be modeling this sphere shaped house in Revit. But before I get started I would like to suggest to you check out my website learnrevitonline.com to get my Revit advanced courses as well as you can check out my Patreon to get all my Revit project files. Now let's get started. So here I'm in Revit and uh, we are going to use model in place to create this building instead of using uh, in place mass. The reason for that is uh, it's a lot easier to create an in place model than uh, working in a massing environment. So that's why I decided to use a model in place for this video. Anyway, uh, before doing anything here, we first want to create some new levels. So first I am going to change the height of this to 3 feet. So this level is selected. We can just press CS to create similar. And we will create 3 more uh, three more of this. Let's select this one and change the height to 10 feet. And this one also will be 10 feet. And the last one will be 3 feet same like uh, the first one now let's go to level one and we'll create a reference plane here so let's select reference plane from here and just draw a reference plane like this let's just uh, give it a name reference plane one you can name it uh, whatever you like now let's go to architecture and create a model in place I'm going to use a generic models from this list let's click ok and you can name it if you want I will just click ok again and now let's go back to south elevation and we want to create uh, uh, we want to use a revolve to create uh, the sphere so let's select revolve from here and this dialog box will pop up you just need to select pick a plane here and pick the plane which we have just created here we have it reference plane one click ok and now we can draw the sphere so I'm going to use arc to create the sphere let's create an arc like this and we need to give it a thickness so let's use pick lines and I will give two inch uh, thickness for the glass let's pick this arc perfect now we want to close this profile so let's use line and just close it from here as well as at the top now we need to cre create the axis line to create a revolve so here we have the axis line button just click it and draw a line like this now this profile will revolve around this line and create a sphere shape so let's click finish there you go I go to 3d see we got this sphere shape here now to create the rings or the metallic uh, frame around this uh, sphere we are going to use a trick the trick is to cut this sphere and use the uh, use the edges of this sphere to create the sweep so you will understand in a moment let's go to south elevation and we first want to create the horizontal uh, rings around this so let's go to create and use void extrusion from here from this drop down and again this dialog box will pop up you just need to pick the plane which we have created earlier just click ok and now we need to uh, draw the sketch here i want to create the first link uh, in the middle of this uh, sphere so that's why i will create this uh, void until the middle of this sphere now let's click finish and go to 3d and we have our void here let's use this handle and just drag it through the sphere on this side as well and if i click outside there you go we cut uh, this sphere into half now we can use these edges to create the sweep which is the trick which i was talking about so let's change the visual style to hidden line by pressing hl on the keyboard to see the edges clearly now let's go to create sweep 
pick path and just pick the edges of this uh, sphere this edge as well now let's go to left view here so we can see this reference plane clearly and first let's click finish and we'll create a profile here so click edit profile and we'll just draw a simple uh, circle here a five inch circle let's use move mv and just move it to the edge of this sphere here perfect now let's click finish and click finish again and there you go we have created this uh, ring or this uh, metallic uh, frame around this sphere now we can use the same method and create two more horizontal uh, rings here so we can create another void for this top uh, ring so so before that we can just delete this void we don't need this uh, we don't need this void anymore so just make a selection like this then filter and check the generic models we just want to select the void click ok and then just delete it I go to 3d you see we got our ring here now we can create another void for the other two uh, rings so let's go to create void forms void extrusion pick the reference plane click ok and just draw a rectangle here you just need to focus on this line where you want to create the ring at the bottom you can just drag it through the sphere now let's click finish go back to 3d and let's use these handles and just take them through this void so we only got this path left here don't worry about that we will just uh, delete this void after creating the ring so let's go to create select sweep pick path pick the edges of this sphere both the edges and then we can just go to the right view here and first click uh, finish uh, then edit profile and draw a circle here this circle will be three inches a little bit smaller than the the middle one let's just drag it to the edge of this sphere click finish finish again and there you go now we can just delete the void so just make a selection like this filter and select void click ok and delete just click delete there you go now we can just go back to the south elevation and try to mirror this instead of creating another void we can just uh, mirror this so just select this ring and mirror from the middle here there you go we have created the horizontal rings around this uh, sphere now let's use the same method and create the vertical uh, vertical rings around this so let's go to the south elevation and first we will cut this sphere into half so let's go to create select void forms void extrusion select the work plane click ok and just draw a rectangle from the middle of this sphere now let's click finish and go to 3d and just drag this void through the sphere and go to create select sweeps and just pick path pick the edges of this sphere click finish and go to the top view edit profile and just create a circle here so this middle one uh, will be five inches let's just move it here click finish click finish again there you go we have created this ring here now we can just delete the void so just make a selection like this then filter just keep this void checked click ok and delete perfect so we have created this vertical ring as well now we can just go to the top view and just create a copy of this so let's select this ring and select rotate make sure copy is checked here and just put 45 degrees angle here enter there you go if i go to 3d you can see we got this one here now let's go back to level one and we want to create another copy in the middle of this 
so good. select rotate just make sure copy is checked here let's put 45 degrees enter now we can just mirror this one so let's select this mirror from the middle here okay so it's kind of difficult to select the midpoint of this sphere so we can just uh, create a copy of this let's select rotate copy is checked let's put 45 degrees again perfect so let's go to 3d there we go we have created this cool looking shape in revit now let's create the material parameters so first i will just select this sphere and to create a material parameter you just need to click this uh, little button here and it will open up this dialog box just click here to create a new parameter let's call it glass click ok ok again and now just select all of this uh, metallic uh, frame around this glass then uh, you don't need to filter instead you can just hold shift key and deselect this uh, sphere let's change the visual style to wireframe and just hold shift key and just deselect this uh, sphere perfect let's go here and create a new material parameter let's call it metal click ok ok again and finish model so we can find the material parameters uh, in the uh, properties here so i will quickly apply the materials here so i will just type glass here because this material is already loaded by default whenever you create a new project so i just need to type the name of the material here instead of opening the material browser and for the metal i will just choose aluminium click apply okay there you go we have created this cool looking uh, sphere shaped uh, model here so that's how you can create this kind of models in revit so that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my website learnrevitonline.com to get my revit advanced courses as well as you can uh, check out my patreon to get uh, all my project files including this one if you uh, want to use it and yeah i will see you guys in the next video